Welcome back to our series, All You Need to Know About Cancer Biomarker Testing. I'm Sophia, a journalist. Today we're exploring acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, and how biomarker testing helps in diagnosis and guiding treatment. Joining me is Dr. Alex, a hematologist to explain more. Thank you, Sophia. Receiving an AML diagnosis can be overwhelming. I'm here to explain the basics clearly and simply, so patients and their families can feel more informed, confident and supported. Let's start with the basics. What is acute myeloid leukemia? AML is a rapidly progressing cancer of the blood and bone marrow. It most commonly affects adults, especially older individuals, but can occur at any age. This disease begins in the bone marrow, the body's factory that produces red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets, all essential for keeping us healthy. But in AML, this factory goes into overdrive, producing large numbers of abnormal, immature cells that don't work as they should. These cells crowd the marrow and block the production of healthy blood cells. What causes AML? The exact cause is often unknown, which can be confusing and frustrating, especially for patients who were previously fit and healthy. While certain factors such as exposure to benzene, smoking, previous cancer treatments and blood disorders like myelodysplasia can increase the risk, many patients with AML have no known risk factors, which makes the disease even harder to understand. Is AML hereditary or does it run in families? Not usually. Rare inherited mutations or genetic syndromes, such as Down syndrome, can slightly increase the risk, but don't mean that someone will develop AML. What symptoms should people be aware of? AML can cause sudden symptoms like severe fatigue, frequent infections, and unusual bruising or bleeding. Other signs include fever, pale skin, night sweats, shortness of breath, and bone pain. How is AML detected? AML is often detected through blood tests that reveal an increased number of abnormal blood cells. A very high white blood cell count, along with low levels of platelets or red blood cells, may raise suspicion of AML. To confirm the diagnosis and identify the leukemia type, doctors take a small bone marrow sample, usually from the back of the hip. This procedure is essential as it allows detailed analysis of the leukemia cells. Are there any screening tests for AML? No. AML usually develops quickly and is diagnosed after symptoms or abnormal blood counts appear. Since routine screening isn't available, see your doctor if symptoms persist so diagnosis and treatment can begin promptly. What steps are taken after AML is diagnosed? Once AML is diagnosed, biomarker testing is the first step. It detects specific genetic alterations in leukemia cells, helping to confirm the diagnosis and guide the choice of optimal treatment. How is biomarker testing done in AML? Biomarker testing is usually done on the bone marrow sample taken at diagnosis, though sometimes a blood test can be used. Rapid results are important so treatment can start without delay. What happens after biomarker test results are received? After biomarker results are received, doctors classify AML and assign it to a risk category – favorable, intermediate or adverse. These categories, along with the patient's age and overall health, help guide treatment decisions. What does treatment usually involve? Treatment for AML usually starts with chemotherapy to destroy leukemia cells. It may also include targeted therapy, stem cell transplant or clinical trials. For example, a patient with a FLT3 mutation and good overall health is often classified as intermediate risk and may receive targeted therapy along with chemotherapy. Treatment should be personalized by a doctor for each patient. Can AML come back after treatment? Yes, this can happen. In this example, biomarker testing in 2025 confirmed the AML diagnosis and the patient received targeted therapy. Measurable residual disease tests, or MRD, which are used to check for remaining leukemia cells, were clear post-treatment and also one year later. But by 2028, 
they showed relapse and the patient began additional therapy. Dr. Alex, what's the most important thing to know about AML and biomarker testing? AML is a blood cancer that mainly affects adults, but it can occur in people of any age. Key symptoms include extreme tiredness, frequent infections, and unusual bruising or bleeding. AML is typically diagnosed with blood tests and confirmed with a bone marrow test, which is the most accurate. Biomarker testing can identify the mutations driving AML and helps choose an optimal treatment. Quick results are essential to start treatment fast. If you or a loved one is diagnosed with AML, ask your doctor about biomarker testing as it can make a significant difference. Thank you Dr. Alex for the insightful discussion on AML and biomarker testing. It provided valuable information for exciting new material in our Oncology Daily Journal. If you want to watch the full video series on cancer biomarkers, scan the QR code. If you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for more episodes in our series All You Need to Know About Cancer Biomarker Testing. Take care and stay informed. This video is for educational purposes only. If you have any questions, please speak with your doctor.